All right, this is Fang Synth, the motion modulated uh, synthesizer for Android. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to learn everything on Fang, kind of the concept behind the controls, um, and uh, just a few particular things. Everything is pretty similar to most other synthesizers besides the accelerometer modulation. So if you're familiar, you sh if you're familiar with synths, a lot of it should already make sense. But if not, um, you can always go to third.com/fang-guide, or just go to the how-to and kind of tap all the way to the end. This view complete guide. If you tap that, that'll t also take you there, and that just explains everything in depth. Um, all right, so. Uh, save and load is gonna uh, look inside your fang folder the home directory slash fang for any fang files you have to load or overwrite saving um, uh, and then also in that folder will store any waves you record so to do that you just tap the record button and then tap, it'll start recording and then tap it again. It'll stop and save a time stamped wave into that fan folder. Uh, BPM, you change through this, the, uh, the, the box there. And then these arrows are actually just to nudge back and forth. So it doesn't actually change the BPM, it just helps out with uh, syncing externally. Um, yeah, so I will go into the way the um, accelerometer modulation works. Just put a few example notes here. And then uh, we'll just look under uh, oscillator B. I'll take this uh, wave mod here in particular. And you can see it has like a main longer control at the top. That's the main value there. So you move it around you can kind of hear the effects that that might have and then um, you can see there are four other controls underneath that um, they have L, R, B, and F uh, embedded into them which stands for left, right, back, and forward um, so if you put the left value to the right so it goes positively um, as it you can uh, increase the value as you tilt left and then similarly you can go down with it and then it'll go down as you go left and then uh, it, you could also do it on both sides so give the right one increase and the left one decrease so as it goes to the right, it'll increase and then decrease. And then uh, it'll all get added together. So you can have uh, this back value give you a bunch, give you a little bit of wave mod, and then go to the left and it'll take it down a little bit more. It all gets added together with that main value. And the text, or the, uh, the number, fields work the same way where you or before I get into that all, all the sliders also have a gray box next to them to zero them so it's kind of hard to kind of remove modulation and get to the zero point on that so you can tap it and it'll zero it out kind of easily um, but yeah so that's left right back and forward and then all take a look at this pitch thing here the pitch value of oscillator B is also works the same way where you have the main value right here you have the left right back and forward so this main value you can take it down and I'll go down from that 12 they had it at or up to 24 um, but let's say we want to have it go down in pitch as we go to the, or go up in pitch as we go to the left, I'll just put like five in there. So as you can see there, you got 12 and you got five on the left one. So as it goes to the left, 
it goes up. Uh, negative values are also accepted when applicable in the number fields. So as it tilts to the left, it goes down. So left to right, back and forward. And uh, yeah, they're all um, they're all number boxes or sliders, except with a few exceptions. There's, for instance, under the ARP and note menu, the synced rate is, um, you can see it's a series of buttons, but it has a number box input. This is the same left, right, back, and forward. And as you go up, it increases the amount. So it, it would slow down. So it would go from 1 16th to 1 12th to 1 8th. And I'll just add that to the to the left. I'll just add three there. So you can hear that. It slows down a little bit. Or you can add negative three to make it go even faster as you make it go to the left at a sync rate. Um, and then another exception is the uh, the menus like this and it just works the same way like uh get that focus there so we have the vowel you know if you have it at e and then you want it to go up when you go to the left maybe and then down when you go to the right so i have a positive value for the left negative value for the right it'll go from e up to a and then kind of get clamped down there as you go to the left. And then as you go to the right, it'll go to I and O. And maybe you, if you put enough force on it, and you can kind of hear what that sounds like if I turn the four-man filter up. So it cycles through your vowels there. Uh, same thing with the voice type and all that. Uh, yeah, so that is Fang Synth right there.